Guys, have you ever had this happen where you're trying to get a Kimura from Full Guard, but the guy's so darn strong and big and doesn't work? Well, I got a little tip for you here today. Today we got a question from Jesse Gaines from Facebook. He says that he was rolling with the guy today and he caught him with a Kimura from Full Guard, but he said the problem was the guy was so darn strong, he just couldn't bend his arm to get the finish, and he's wondering if he has, if I have any tips on how to finish the Kimura and deal with that, that issue of the guy being really strong, and I do have a big strong guy with me today, we got Rich. All right, Jesse, so let's talk about a couple of details. First things first, we wanna get our elbows as close together. Well, check this out. I see this a lot of times from guys where they try to get the Kimura, and if you notice, the further out my elbows get, look at the hand grip here. The further out it gets, the weaker my hand becomes, and my grip on the sink. So what first thing I can do is bring our elbows in really tight. Now, check this out. If he keeps his arms straight, this is gonna be a problem. Now, here's where I see a lot of people, they try to drive the Kimura back with their arm, but if the guy's really strong here, like, like Rich is, he can just stop me, okay? So check this out, here's what we're gonna do. Keep the elbows in tight, and at this point, we're going to scoot our hips out, okay? Now notice what I just did. I just moved it out. Now the elbow, it went from shoulder to my chest to elbow in my chest. This is really important because now I can throw this leg over and it's no longer just my arms, it's my whole body turning in, okay? Opposed to simply just trying to push the hand back. And this is a really important detail. I'll show you the Kimor from another position in just a second, okay? So we get our Kimor grip. First things first, bring your elbows in as close together as possible. Now, even if he's still straight here and you can't get the thing going, scoot out here to the side. So now it's the whole body versus that arm, okay? Now, unless the, arm, the guy is absolutely massive compared to you, you should be able to get that. Um, but again, if you're, a, like, if you're like 100 pounds and you get a guy who's like 300 pounds, it may not work even then. Um, lay down your side because the Kimura does require at least a little bit of strength. Now, use the same idea from like a North South. This is the most common like, you know, Kimura from the top position, right? And again, a lot of people will do this one where they just try to pull with the arms here. Remember, elbows in tight, because again, that same idea is if my arms get out really, my elbows get really far apart, it's a very hard lock to hold, so elbows in really tight. And then when we go, it's our whole body moving this arm, not just our arms, it's the whole body, okay? So when you try to break grips or move the Kimura, it should always be involved with the whole body, attaching it to the torso. So now it's not just the strength of the arm, but the strength of your torso, your hips, and everything else. Jesse or anyone that's having trouble getting that Kimura against a really big, strong guy, I hope that tip's helpful to you. And uh, guys, thanks for the questions.